Vitalities, happy half term. Um, today, we have got a great workout for you. Um, it's for the family, get the kids involved, um, and Emma Wiggs is gonna take you through that today. Um, don't forget as well, there's so many prizes to be won, um, so make sure you're taking lots of pictures of all the activities that you're doing this week. Um, use the hashtag Vitality Half Term, tag us in um, for your chance to win, and yeah, enjoy that workout today. Hi everyone and welcome to day two of the Vitality Half Term series. My name is Jamie and I'm one of the Vitality coaches. If you've been to any one of our HIT sessions before, you may have seen me delivering those sessions, uh, usually alongside my colleague Johnny. But no offence to Johnny, but we are doing something slightly more upgraded today. Um, I'm a little nervous about this one, but really looking forward to it. So for today's session, we've got a new teacher. Um, I am usually the master, but I'm definitely the student today. So we have Emma Wiggs joining us for this workout. She's going to take us through a progressive workout. It'll be super fun. Um, just get involved and bring as much energy as you can. So Emma is a Paralympic canoeist. She's uh, the current reigning Olympic champion, as well as an eight-time world champion. Um, which is a pretty special CV. And you also have some bling with you there, Emma, uh, that you might want to show off. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm great. Thanks, Jamie. I'm really excited about getting on with the session and getting everyone fit and active for the next half an hour. So brilliant to be here. And I'm so pleased people are joining us. Perfect. Well, um, if you just want to show up that little necklace that you're rocking, um, <laughs> that's really cool to me. So this is the Rio Olympic uh, gold medal that you won. Do you want to give us a little, I know there's a little fun fact about this medal. Do you want to just share that? So um, I don't know if people know, but the Paralympic medals are exactly the same as the Olympic medals, except for one feature. And the Paralympic ones make a noise. I don't okay. know if you can hear that. Yeah. And that's so that the athletes who are visually impaired can tell what colour the medal is. So the gold medals make a different colour, different, different noise to the silver and to the bronze. So there's a bit of a fun fact. for. Love it. I need to get myself a necklace like that for some time, I think. I think it would well with this pink, wouldn't it? Um, so today's workout, Emma, you're going to be leading me through it, but we are going to be doing two different versions of the same workout. So feel free to either follow along with Emma's part or my part or just kind of mix the two together. So it's totally up to you. But Emma, I'm just going to pass over to you. Shout at me, beast me throughout, and uh, we'll get through it together. Is that OK? Yeah, absolutely. Right, great. Let's crack on. So I'm going to get out my chair onto the floor. So as Jamie, as Jamie said, uh, we're going to give you a couple of versions of exercises. Some you can do seated, either in a chair or on the floor, and some are going to involve a bit more of the legs, and that's what Jamie's going to do on the other side of the screen. So take your pick. Think of it like pick and mix. You can choose bits and bobs. But let's get cracking. So let's get started with a warm-up. So what are you going to do if you're on the floor? is you're going to lie down on your side and you're going to do some open outs with your arms nice and quick just get your body ready to exercise jamie what are you doing so i always start my workouts with the same kind of warm-up so i'm doing some walkouts so basically i'm going from a standing position trying to keep my legs as straight as possible bending down walking my hands out to a high plank keeping my core tight and then moving back in Super Excellent. simple. And if you're on the floor, we're going to change sides and make sure we do the other side of our body. So nice, open out. You should feel it across your chest and your core. Get some nice movement in. So is this your second session of the day, Emma, already? Uh, this is my third session of the day. <laughs> third. I barely yeah. got up. <laughs> there we go. So that's one of the exercises we're going to start with. Now we're going to do some windmills, which again is going to be lying on the floor. I'm going to go sideways on so you can see. Lying on the floor. And what we're going to do this time is take our arm up and right the way over. Rub it along the floor as if you, as if you were the top of a windmill. So sliding up and over. And again, get some nice speed on it to get nice and warm. Jamie, what are you up to? I like that. So starting to build the heart rate. This is actually my fourth workout of the day. <laughs> uh, what you've been up to. So I'm just doing some jogging on the spot and progressively making it a little bit harder. So bring my knees a little bit higher, pump the arms just a little bit more. Excellent. Change sides and just do the other arm up and over, really stretching so you can feel it. And increasing the speed so we get nice and ready. Good. 
Great job. Hopefully you're feeling a bit warmer. I think we need it today, don't we? It was about minus six on the lake yesterday, so I think we're all doing a bit of warming. Okay, oh, last, yeah. last one for the warm up, just to try and raise our heart rate and get ourselves really ready. We're going to do some arm swings. So if you're on the floor, we're going to just do some nice arm swings. Jamie, what are you going to do? So I'm doing some yoga push ups. So basically, you're in a high push up position, hands underneath the shoulders, drop down into a push up, extend the arms. Um, I'm just kind of stretch out my back and open up the chest before getting back into a plank. Nice. And we're going to go across the body as well. So some nice. Emma, do you do that one where you do one arm one way and the other in the opposite? I know. I'm not very good at that one. I used to hate that. It's a bit I like patting your head and rubbing your tummy, isn't it? Yeah. I can't be <laughs> okay. So good. So hopefully we're feeling nice and ready, ready to go. Now what we're going to do for today's hit session is something called a ladder. So we're going to do five exercises and we're going to do it for a different amount of time across the session. Don't panic, I'm going to talk you all through it and I've got a timer that you might be able to hear as well. So five exercises again are going to be slightly different, Jamie and me, just to choose whichever you want to do. We'll talk you through them and we're going to start by working 30 seconds and then we're going to have 30 seconds rest. So we're breaking you in nice and gently. Okay, so my first exercise we're going to start with is punches. So we're going to try and rotate our body. So use your core to drive your body round, and you're going to put a punch on the end like this. And we're going to vary the speed. Jamie, what are you going to do for the first one? Okay, so I'm doing pretty much the same thing. I'm just adding in some high knees and trying to punch at the same time, which is actually quite hard to coordinate. So I've just found out, but something that looks like that. Okay, all right, perfect. So we're going to go in three two one off you go so nice rotate drive from the core and punch forward if you're doing jamie's get those knees up and punch forward so i'm already starting to feel that in my core and we're halfway through so if you're feeling like you're managing increase the speed you're a blur on my screen right now <laughs> and we've got five seconds left keep going Two, one, and rest. Good. Just make sure you keep moving slightly. So we're going to have 30 seconds rest. The next one we're going to do is dips. So I'm going to use the edge of the sofa, okay? And I'm going to do some dips like this. Jamie, what are you doing? So I'm going to do some squats straight into a kick. So I'm going to squat down, try and keep my thighs parallel to the ground, heels flat on the floor, and then kicking out. Brilliant. So if you've got any kids, you can pretend you're a superhero doing a superhero kick. Are you ready? We're going to go in three, two, one, go. So I'm and your upper forward. body is so my impressive. Knees are going to, my elbows are going to 90 degrees each time. And I'm pressing up through my shoulders, through my hands. Well, that's getting, beginning to burn already. <laughs> I was going to say you might, have your, your, you might have your legs together and your feet on the floor. Mine obviously don't do that. Keep going. That's good, Jamie. Thank you. Three seconds left. And rest. Okay, really good so far, gang. Okay, we're going to go on to a core exercise now. So we're going to do hundreds. So I'm going to lie on my back. I'm going to go into a slight crunch, and I'm going to be moving my arms as fast as I can while maintaining the crunch. Jamie, what are you up to? So I'm doing a core exercise as well. So I'm lying flat on the back with my knees up, and then I'm just going to be touching, pulsing backwards and forwards, touching my toes. Okay, excellent. And we're going in three, two, one. So hold the position and get those arms pumping. This should feel quite hard quite quickly. If you're struggling, drop the height a bit. But what you're looking to do is to keep the height and keep the arms moving. You can always switch between mine and Jamie's if you want to change it up. 10 seconds left, go on. Feel it in your tummy here. Keep those arms going. Two, like burn. one, and stop. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to do some press-ups now. Don't worry about the kit. I've just got that because that's what I need to do press-ups. All you're going to do is try and keep your shoulders above your hands and make sure that you're just pressing down and pressing up. Jamie, what are you up to? 
Perfect. So I'm going to go into some mountain climbers. So I'm going to be in a high press up position and then bringing my knees up to touch my shoulders or get them as close as I can. Okay, brilliant. Are we all ready then? So press ups for me, mountain climbers with Jamie. Three, two, one, go. Good. So I'm making sure that I'm keeping my core tight and I'm just pressing through my wrists, through my shoulders and up. Keep going, gang. That's really good. 10 seconds. How are you doing, Jamie? Yeah, I'm good. Starting to feel a little burn, but I like it. I think that's what we're here for, isn't it? Yeah. Three, two, one, and stop. Really good. So our last exercise that we're going to do, I'm going to do a plank and I'm going to do a shoulder tap. So I'm going to get into a nice plank position, draw my core up, and I'm going to touch my shoulder and touch my shoulder. Now, this is quite a challenging one for my disability, but I'm sure you guys can give it a go. Jamie, what are you going to do that's similar? So I'm doing some plank Superman, so I'm just adding in a reach. So I'm reaching out one arm and the opposite leg, trying to keep my core straight and my hips level without hopefully falling over. Brilliant. And I guess if you, if you want to, you could just do a straightforward plank. So choose Definitely. what's best for you in three, two, one, off you go. Oh, it's a tough one for the balance, this one, isn't it? Yeah. This so how I'm going to do this? Like my physio would be very impressed. Say, is this something that you can start often? shaking? That's perfectly normal. You can probably hear me and see me shaking. Keep going, gang. Seven seconds. Really good. Excellent. Two, one, stop. Nice. Well done. Okay. Done. Brilliant. So there are the five exercises. What we're going to do is we're going to repeat those five, but this time we're going to work for 40 seconds and rest for only 20 seconds. So we're making it a little bit harder. We've got about another 30 seconds before we're going to go again. And if you can remember, we're starting with punches. How are you doing, okay. Jamie? Yeah, it sounds good. I think I'm doing well. I'm, I'm conscious of what's to come, so I'm trying to pace it, but I think it's the right level. Um, Emma, how often would you do this kind of training in your in your program? So we do something like this, um, which is, we call it robustness, and we do that three times a week. Um, okay. A lot around shoulder work and bits uh -huh. and bobs like that, but we tend to put bits of it into our warm ups for every session as well. So, cool. Um, yeah, we try and get quite a good hit at it. At it. Something you're used to. Can we do a virtual fist bump for round two? Just yeah, there we go. Spud me. Okay. okay. We're going in ten seconds, guys. So we're okay. starting with punches. And rotation, Jamie's starting with high knees and punches in five. Three, two, one, off we go. Good. Here we go, 40 seconds. Remember, you can speed it up or you can slow it down, whatever you need to do to get, it, get the 40 seconds done. This is max speed, Emma. <laughs> you got to remember though, Jamie, I'm a sprinter. You're long distance. I know, but I want to be a sprinter. <laughs> You're doing all right. Thank you. Okay, keep going, gang. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds before we get a little rest and we get ready for our next one. Keep going. Three, two, one, and stop. Twenty seconds rest. It's dips and squats next, if you can remember. Yep. Okay, definitely for the intensity of this one, but I guess this is the time to just focus and we'll get through it. Yeah, we'll get through another 40. We're going in five. Get yourselves ready. Two, one, and go. Really good. So press down and really press yourself up. Keep your core tight. I feel like I need to improve my kicking, Emma. This is not Johnny does karate. Kids watching, they're doing better kicks than that, Jamie. Uh, if oh, you need a rest, a little rest, then you can carry on. We've only got twelve seconds left. Come on, really good. Five. Very good. And we're going to get into our hundreds next. So I'm doing hundreds. Jamie's doing toe touches. Got it. Are you ready? Let's do it. So remember, lie down, 
Engage your core, go for the crunch, and then your arms are pumping. Ready, set, go. This is going to be a harder one because it's 40 seconds. So Emma, have your sessions today? Are you feeling okay for this? Like, is this a tough? Uh, yeah, that's how, that's how my coach is, but this is, uh, <laughs> it's not on my program. It's all part of the process. I'm definitely feeling the gym I had this morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good to be one. Honest, I quite like doing a little bit extra. Nice. Ten seconds left, gang. Ten seconds. If you can do it, raise yourself up higher. Get those arms going faster. Really good. Three. And two, and one. Really good, excellent. Okay, and then we're gonna go on to our press ups and mountain climbers. Yeah. Don't forget, you can do it on your knees or you can do it on your feet if you're doing press ups. And we're gonna go in five. Ready, two, one, go. Emma, I'll say at this point, if anyone's got any questions for you, or any comments or anything, chuck them in the question box, in the comment box, wherever you are, and uh, we'll chuck them across to you, Emma. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, that'd be great. And we've got some time at the end where cool. we can answer some questions if anyone's got any. Nice. Absolutely, when we're all recovering. Keep going, gang. 15 seconds. Remember, control the pace. Just keep moving. That's all it's about. Keep going. Really good. And two, one, stop. Ooh. And we've got the plank supermans, which Jamie's doing, and the plank shoulder taps, which I'm doing. Okay. We're going to go in 10 seconds. I'll go straight onto the camera this time. So you can see we're going in five. So nice, strong plank position. Off you go. That 10 seconds makes a lot of difference, doesn't it? I think it does, yeah. So we're going to, the next round, we're going to do it without a rest. Well, that's going to be really challenging. And we're going to have to make sure that we just keep moving at whatever speed we can to get through the five exercises. Okay. And then what we do is we come back down the ladder. Sounds good. It's why we're here. 12 seconds left, Gan. Just think how great you're going to feel at the end of this little 23, 24 minute workout. You've done your exercise. Two, one, stop. Really good, really good. So let's have a little bit of a breather. Grab yourself a drink if you've got a drink. Two down, Emma, three to go, right? Two down, three to go. Okay, fine, I we're like that. We're exactly the same exercises. Uh -huh. This time we're gonna do it as a 30 second blast, I think. Okay, so, so we're if we're doing back to back, right? We're going to go back to back. So we're going to do all five exercises with no rest in between. So try and move as quickly as you can between the exercises. But ultimately, we're going to have no rest and we're going to just go bang, 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 bang. Okay, so this cool. is going to be tough, guys, but I think we've got it. Okay, so you just like pace it, right? control. Okay, fine. I'm just going to get you to shout at me and I think we'll get through it. But we'll just pace it a little bit more maybe so that we don't go flat the whole way through. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. We're going to go in about fist five pump. seconds. <laughs> I like it. Don't forget the fist pumps, guys. We need to do in our lives. Okay, so we're starting with punches, high knees and punches. And we're going to go 30 seconds. And then we're going to go straight into the next exercise. Ready? Go. Yeah. So let's pace ourselves a little bit because this is hard. Nice punching. Good. Good high knees. Excellent work. That's good. Keep going. We've got 10 seconds left in this one. And then we're going to go straight on to dips and squats and kicks. Three, two, one. Good. Straight into your dips. Off you go. Very good. I really need to work on my kicking. I think they need to work a bit, Jamie, I think. You think what? I think I think that your kicks have improved. Oh, do you reckon? I could add a okay, side. So after kick. this, we're going to go into hundreds and toe touches. Uh, Keep going. Five seconds left. Keep going. Good. Two, one, 
straight into hundreds or toe touches. Off you go. Getting tough now. I like it. It's good. It's good. Here we go. Keep going. And the next one, we've got press ups and mountain climbers. Think about your core. Keep going. Seven seconds. Come on. Press ups and mountain climbers are next. Three, two, one. Off we go. Straight into our press ups or our mountain climbers. It's a core burner, this one. It will get you. Keep going, that's good. Next up, plank shoulder taps or plank supermans. I wonder if there's any kids what their favourite superhero is. <laughs> they can pretend that they're doing. Ready? And swap. There's plank shoulder taps or plank supermans. So you can see yeah, with these photos on, I've got a bit of a sway as I take my hand off. You're trying to minimise that and keep as stiff as you possibly can as you're doing it. Ten seconds, gang. You're doing really well. Excellent job. Keep going. Three, two, one. And stop there. Woo! Nice. Good work. I'm I know, I used to be cold, but I've forgotten all about that now. I know, I know, I was thinking that was chilly. Right, good job. So, we've got two more rounds of these. Grab yourself a drink if you've got a drink. Really important to make sure you're hydrated throughout the day, but definitely when we're doing home workouts. Okay, the next round we're going to do, we're going to go back to our 40-20, and then we're going to finish with a 30-30. So, we're nearly there. You're doing really great. We're going to go back to the start. Start with our punches and our high knees for 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest, and then we'll go on to the next exercise. All right. Thank you, Jamie. You're driving. I think I'm with you on there. I mean, I like the energy that builds through this one. So I think I'm expecting this round to probably be the hardest one yet. So um, yeah. just give it all you've got, I reckon, for right now. Yeah, give it what you've got, and, uh, and we'll see how we go. Okay, we're going to go in five seconds. Are you ready with your punches and your oh, high wait. knees for 40 seconds? Ready? Fist bump, go. Here we go. So pace yourself if you need to. If you're feeling super good, maybe increase the speed. I started off strong, I went out hard. <laughs> That's good. Keep going, absolutely brilliant. So important, you do some activity every single day, even when it's cold outside. And you're all stuck at home, either working or doing homeschool. Five seconds left, gang. Come on. Okay, moving on to dips and squats and kicks next. Stop there. 20 seconds. Get yourself ready for your dips or your squats and kicks. Okay, I'm going to get these kicks right this time. Okay. Really good. So we're going to go in five. Get yourselves ready. Two, one, go. Nice. Pump them out. Remember to think about your breathing. I'm used to racing over about 40, 48, 49 seconds. So this three, four minute workout is feeling quite long. How does the burn you're feeling now in your arms compare to the end of a race? Yeah, this is probably a bit more burny. Are you going down 12 seconds? You're looking strong, Emma. Come on, keep going. Whatever you do, just keep yourself moving slowly. Ready? And stop. Good. Hundreds and toe touches. Okay. Get yourself ready, lying down. Nice. Get that core switched on. You're trying to keep your belly nice and flat, pulling it away from the edge of your the belt of your trousers. Engage your core. Three, two, go. <laughs> that was a quick go, Emma. I know. I'm sorry about that. Mass, mass is not my strong point. It's I good. I was trying to help my nieces and nephews with their maths homeschool. Oh, yeah. I was no use at all. Did you learn anything? Uh, I learned a lot, and I don't remember ever learning it at school. 
I could do it's it. Very nice. Ten seconds, gang. Ten seconds. Remember, engage your core, lift yourself off the floor, pump those arms. If you're copying me, if you're copying Jamie, crunch, crunch, crunch. And rest there. Nice. 20 seconds. Half the body's getting up off the floor, let's be honest. And it's press ups and mountain climbers. Okay, I'm with you. Are we ready? Let's do it. Five, three, two, one, go. That's good. Keep it going. Keep moving. Just keep squeezing out as many as you can. If you feel like your technique's going a little bit, have a little breath. And then go again. Keep the technique as low as you can. We're nearly in the last 10 seconds. Keep going. Really good. 10. Big push to the finish. Off we go. Five. Come on then. Two. One. And stop there. Last one then, gang. Plank shoulder taps and plank supermans. Channel your inner superhero, Jamie. Who's your favourite superhero? Well, it used to be Superman, but he's out now. So I'm going to go yeah. with... Going in Okay. I'm ready. So I'm thinking about my core, thinking about my shoulders. Off we go. Nice and strong. Try and minimise the shake. Keep the control. Don't let your back do any sort of dipping or anything. You're keeping it nice and strong. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to work on, Emma. Trying to keep my hips as yeah. level as possible. It's you easy. want to keep your level and in line with your shoulders as if you were balancing something on your back. That's a good way to try and remember it. Okay. Ten seconds left, gang. You see? Oh. Nearly yeah. there. Five. Really good. Come on, let's do another one. <laughs> Two. One. Nice. Brilliant, bro. Okay. We've got Final one round. round. We've done four rounds of this together so far. That's an incredible effort. And we're going to keep going. We've got one more round and it's 30 30. Okay. So hopefully that's going to give us a tiny bit more recovery. So we're going to try in those 30 seconds to keep the intensity really nice and as high as we can for this last set. Okay. You're doing brilliantly. Good. I'm glad everyone's still with us. So for this one, Emma, it's the last 30 seconds where I keep work each exercise. So I guess focus on quality, but also go as hard as you can, right? We're just going flat out now, yeah? Yeah, so we're going to go 30-30. So that rest, extra rest, is going to just give us that chance to keep that quality. I'm so proud of everyone. We've got 10 seconds more. Okay. And then we're going to go straight into our 30s, starting with punches and rotations or high kicks if you're following Jamie. Are we ready? Three, I'm at the start. two, one. I keep forgetting the fist bump. It's the end of my best part. I know, I know. I should have. I just need to be cooler, Jamie. That's my problem. I feel you. I can help. Ready? Keep going. So if you think you can, increase the intensity. We're going to get 30 seconds rest after this. Go on. 10 seconds. Find a little bit more. There's always a tiny bit more that you can find. Ready? Three, two, one. One, great job. 30 seconds rest. We're going to go into dips, squats and kicks. Okay. This is our Olympic final, Emma. Okay. Let's go. I want to yeah. see those kicks, Jamie. Really go for those nice kicks. Kick through that screen in a minute. Okay. These dips are going to feel hard. Our arms done a lot. We're going in 10 seconds. Okay. And we're going to give it up all for 30. Five. All right. Ready. Three, two, one go. Here we go. Someone yeah. just said love your spuds. I mean, they like our spuds. Let's do more, okay? Okay. I like the comments. Keep them coming. Keep going. We need it now. Come on. Let's go. Seen these I'm kicks, Emma? Down the dreaded ten. Are you ready? Ten. Yeah. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm extra. Ready? Three, two. One. Oh. Good job. Okay, hundreds and toe touches, Jamie. I don't like these ones. For this one, I'm going to really try and get my arms going as fast as they can. 
while holding that that crunch. Okay. So that's going to be where it's going to make it harder. Jamie, what are you going to do? I'm going to reach up right to the top of my toes. So I was okay. just in the hills before, but I'll come up even it higher. Would have a bit smaller feet, wouldn't it? Are we ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. That's good. <laughs> this is a tough one. These are really tough. Try and control your breathing. Try and relax your neck. We tend to keep our neck really tight. Try and relax your neck. It's all in the core. Final right. 10, Gan. Final 10. Here we go. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one. Nice. And stop. Ready? Okay, so we're going to go on to our press ups, press ups, and mountain climb, uh, mountain climbers. Yes. You ready? Okay. Two more to go, Emma. I'm with you. Two more to go. Let's get ourselves ready. We're going in ten seconds. Remember, hands below shoulders, core nice and tight. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> I'm thinking about lunch right now. That's what's getting me through. Keep going. I think you're going to burn your lunch. <laughs> Not as Ready much as you that. Here we go. Final 10 for this one. Go. Let's go. Come on. Picking up the speed. Whatever you've got. Yeah. Great job. We're on to the last one. Quick. Quick fist, yes. Respect. Yeah, last exercise. Finally got it. We're going in 20 seconds. We've got a plank shoulder tap and a plank Superman. Are we ready? Let's do it. No, but let's last do it. Last one, gang. Okay. Going in 10. Here we go. Nice deep breath. Three, two, one. Off we go. It's good. So for me, because of my disability, the slower I go, the harder it is, this one. If yeah. I want to make it hard, I can try and reach forward and up. So you can do variations, whatever you want to try and make it harder. Five seconds left, come on. Nice. Two, two one, and stop there. Good work. Let's do it. Spud me. <sighs> nice Great work, Emma. Job. That was good. Um, so that's the main part of the workout done. Let's get all the comments in um, and any questions for Emma. So grab a breath, grab a drink, have some chill. And then Emma, are you okay to take us through a little cool down? And then maybe you can ask some questions along the way. Does that sound okay? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So for the cool down, I'm probably going to repeat the um, arm openers and the windmills that we did to start with, yep. and then the arm swings. So I think we'll start, just reverse the order slightly. So I'm going to start with the arm swings. Okay. And we need to give a shout out to Ed, who loved it, by the way. Thanks, Ed. So He's nice, slightly slower pace. Control your breathing. Nice arm swings. Jamie, what are you going to do for yours? So I'm just going to do some hamstring stretches. So I've got one leg in front of the other, my back leg slightly bent, front leg straight. I'm just going to try and reach down and scrape the bottom of the floor with my fingertips. Really and nice. I'm going to do some circles as well. Anything like just stretch the body, slow our breathing, make us feel a bit like we're winding down. That was a good one, Emma. That was tough. It got a bit spicy in the middle, didn't it? It did get a bit spicy. I think what I'm going to do, because we did quite a lot of core workout, and then just do some rotations around. Hold my breath. Back to the middle. Back round. Cool. Quite a nice one to do with your breath, just to control it. What are you stretching there, Jamie? So I'm doing a hip flexor stretch. I'm stretching the back. Sorry, the front of the back leg. So I've got one, both knees at 90 degrees. And then basically I'm just trying to push my front knee over my front toe, but keep my hips level. So I'm not bending back, keeping my hips level. You should feel it at the back of the front leg. Really nice, really nice. 
Someone say you used to learn Taekwondo, Jamie. Yeah. John, is that John? I yeah. don't know how the kick works. Like, is it straight? Is it side? I don't know. It just feels a bit awkward. I think the last one I'm going to do, Jamie, is I'm going to just try and reach forward as far as I can. And that'll be a really nice stretch for our lats, our backs, and even our core, just reaching forward. So walk your hands forward on the, on the floor, drop your head down, take some nice deep breaths. It's good to have a bit of chill, isn't it? It's really good. We've started doing some yoga as part of our recovery, and it's, I think it's really, really important to have that, that kind of time to be mindful and, and think about our yeah. breathing and you know ourselves rather than being obsessed with what, what other stuff is going yeah, on. For sure. It's good at the end of a workout, isn't it? Right, let me read these comments. So someone says, very cool and interesting to know about the sound of the medals. There you go, Emma. Already there got something go. for you. So well, um, I was as long as you've done a workout and been interesting. Do you know James Wiggs, Emma? <laughs> He's my twin brother. <laughs> Legend. He's got a question for you. How many times a week do you suggest doing this type of exercise? There you go. There you go. Well, I think probably James should do it more than the rest of us, but that's um <laughs> I think anything if you could try and do four or five times a week, that'd be brilliant. But actually, any sort of exercise every single day is, is probably the, the best thing that I could possibly recommend, particularly for our mental health as well as our physical health. But if yeah. you're wanting to try and get something out of it in terms of an improvement in fitness, you need to be looking at, yeah, three, four, five times a week, trying to fit in a, you know, that was 23 minutes. So I think, we, you know, that's possible to try and fit into our day somewhere. So yeah. get on it, James. OK, James, you've been told by the Olympian herself. Um, <laughs> And, uh, obviously, you mentioned you know three to four times a week is optimal, but I'm pretty sure you also said this is what your third or your fourth session of the day. So, can you just give us a little bit of understanding um, about like what your daily routine looks like? So, yeah, I mean, our, our routine will change depending on the time of year. So, over winter, um, we're on the water all all year round, but over winter we do quite a lot of gym work as well. So, we train six days a week, um, anything between three and three and four sessions a day. Um, okay. And then it's all about rest and recovery in between. And then as we approach the racing season, which is the kind of April onwards, we tend to do a bit more water work than than gym work. So it will swing swing round in that favour. But, but that's okay. mainly our focus is, you know, three, four sessions a day, uh, focused recovery. And uh, and that's how we hopefully make the boat faster. Wow. Well, it's working for you, whatever you're doing. Uh, someone there just wanted a question from me, apparently, which was who my favourite superhero is. Because we left them hanging with that one. Yeah, um, yeah, because you, you were too cross I mean, by Superman's. And my kicks, yeah, they're still rubbish. I don't really watch films, but is Shrek a superhero? No, I, I well, know. I mean, he's nice. I like Shrek, so I'm just going to go with that. Um, Emma, just a couple more questions before we go, because I know that loads of people have wanted to ask you so much. And obviously, with Tokyo looking ahead, it'd be great to just understand a little bit more what is it like to race in an Olympic final? Like, how do you feel? So can you take us back to the sort of day of the Rio Olympic final and how that was for you? Like what was yeah. going through your mind? How well, was I it? Well, I think you know, Rio, Rio was the most incredible games. Um, uh, but one of the challenges was we were on this massive lake, uh, which wasn't like, anything like we were normally used to paddling on. Um, and that meant that the wind, when it came across the lake, picked up the water and, and kind of made it really wavy and challenging. So mm -hmm. much so that the day before the Paralympic final, I chose to not go training because the waves were so big on the lake. And okay. I sat there think I sat there thinking I made the wrong decision, while about 80% of the people that had got on the lake fell in. So I think I, I felt pretty confident that I'd made the right decision then. And then the next day it meant that I wasn't fearful of of falling in because I hadn't actually fallen in the water. So it was it's challenging, it's nerve-wracking. Um, but for me, I'd spent four years imagining what it would be like to race in a Paralympic final. Yeah. And then when I got there, I just did everything I could to imagine I was back at home in Nottingham, paddling on our, on our normal lake, um, oh. not worrying about the 8,000 people and, and everybody watching on the telly. So, yeah, yeah. it was an incredible experience, but definitely a, a nerve wracking one. But nerves are good, right? Yeah, I always think, you know, pressure is a privilege is what they say, isn't it? But yeah. um, it's, it's really... Uh, interesting to hear you say about the, the importance of the mental side as well and I guess the last question from me is um, looking ahead now 
how like how did how are you feeling like obviously Tokyo coming up um I'm sure you're fully prepared I mean we know how hard you train we already learned that you've already beasted me today so I know that but how like, what's your mindset right now and how do you take things day to day um, I think it's challenging, isn't it, for everybody um, at the minute in, in the world. And I think all, all we can do and all I can do is, is do my training and make sure that I'm focusing on the things that I can control. And that is working hard every day to try and make the boats faster. I'm really excited about Tokyo. It's going to be, hopefully, if I get selected, it will be the, an opportunity to race both my boats for the yeah. first time ever at a Paralympic game. So there's a kayak and there's a canoe. And they're going to be able to be raced at the first for the first time ever at those games. So right. for me, um, you know, I think I am uh, very content with the fact that I'm training as hard as I possibly can and I'm making the boats as fast as I possibly can. And and if, if the games go ahead and if I get to go, um, it will be an incredible honor to, to line up in, in those two different boats and, and try to deliver performances that make my family proud and, and my coaches proud and, and me proud, I think. Yeah, and I, I changed my mind. My favourite superhero is you. Um, <laughs> you also, did, I, we got to go, but you also just you, your Paralympic journey isn't just based on Rio, is it? You, you obviously had. A, I won't. I don't want to give it away, but do you want to explain also like your a little bit more about your journey in that in that sense? So I was able-bodied until the age of eighteen. Um, I was really sporty, as you know. I've got a brother, and I've got also got a sister, and we spent a lot of time doing all sorts of sports together. Um, and then at eighteen, I actually went to Australia on a gap year, and I contracted a virus which um, damaged the endings of my nerves in my whole body, and, and effectively paralysed me in my arms and my legs overnight. But you know, I had a bit of recovery, and as you can see, my arms are are all right. Um, but my legs didn't, just didn't recover properly, so. You know, life life dealt deals you some some blows sometimes, and it's uh, it's how you respond to them. So I was very lucky that sport eventually came my way, and um, I found something that that I could really get get into and, and get good at. And um, I'm you know living every day like that at the minute. Uh, well, someone said that they found this session a new inspiration, and I. I don't think there's anything more that I can say on top of that. So Emma, honestly, it's been wicked doing this with you. Um, you are, um, but we're all backing you. We're all behind you for whatever comes, but I know that you'll make a success of it. So thank you for your time today. I'm going to go and probably sleep now for a couple of hours and eat yeah. loads of food um, and try and recover. But all the best with everything to come. Um, everyone watching, I do hope you enjoyed today's session. Um, please do come back tomorrow where we'll have another session. We'll be doing a bit more dance exercise, um, but also just continuing to have a lot more fun. So get involved get your hashtags in, send us all the comments that you want and hopefully we'll see you a lot more over the next couple of weeks. Emma, thanks again. And yeah, well done, everyone. You. Great job. Yeah. Nice fist bump to end. Good job. Take care.